to the channel everybody um, today we're not on the water as you can tell got something different for you um, today we're going to be doing a little check of a mushroom woods that I like to go to every year um, it's a little bit early yet for this woods but uh, I think we'll find something um, also while we're walking around together I'm going to give some tips on some certain trees and certain areas that you might want to try to look for mushrooms to uh, maybe help you guys increase your chances on um, finding some mushrooms in your area. So I've been hunting them ever since I could walk so i uh, got quite a bit of experience on no mushroom hunting. But anyways come follow along with me guys we'll see what we can find and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you guys want to see some more mushroom hunting videos just put a comment down below and um, here before too long I'll also be uploading a video of the mushrooms that I've been growing in the yard. Um, some of you guys have been following along with that. I got kind of like a time lapse video. I've been taking a little clip every few days of the growth and progress on them. So appreciate all you guys for subscribing and following off my channel and uh, let's go see what we can find. Come on. Well, I just took the camera off the tree, looked down, and two, this is the tree where we just had a camera hooked up. Right here is a mushroom. That didn't take too long. Not a big one, but on the board already. We gotta find a few more before we get the bag out. There's another little guy. Some people call these woods mushrooms, long stems, long necks. There's a whole bunch of names for them, but I, uh, my daughter, she loves eating these. They're kind of crisp up like french fries. I see a stem over there. See if you guys can see it. There's a better size long stem. There's one up here in front of it. Alright, well, guess we better get the bag out. A lot of times, guys, these great big poplar trees will have mushrooms around them. I've always had luck finding gray morels. And uh, a lot of woods I found black morels around some of these older poplar trees. This is another tree right here. This one right here, the dead elm. When they start losing their bark, that's when they get prime. I found them around live elm trees, but the dead elms, there's a few years gap there once they start losing that bark. It's worth checking every one of them because you might have to check 10 or 15 of them, but when you find them around it, it can be a pretty good patch of nice mushrooms. I 
another really good tree ash tree that one right there ash are about as good as elm in my opinion unfortunately the ash boar beetles have been killing a bunch of them off at least in our area guys here's a look at another uh, dead elm this one's got the bark coming off of it looks like pretty recent starting to fall off here maybe in the last year or so we need to look around this tree really good especially when they got this green foliage and grass around the base of them it's even better Right here is a nice one, actually. I don't see his buddy, but I just see that one. Nope, oh, it's back here behind me. Two more right here. I know some people say that to leave the dirt, pinch them off. I don't know if there's a difference in the two or not, but I always just pinch them off. Less stuff you gotta cut off when you get home and clean them. Oh, look what we just found, guys. Heck yeah. Not a big one. Squirrels got on, got a hold of them a little bit. May not be big, but I like finding any antler. Heck yeah. Apparently dead elms hold deer antlers too. Ooh, I see a nice one. And there's a little guy here. This might turn out to be a good trip, guys. Another nice one. Still around this elm tree. All right, guys, this is the last tree I wanted to show you. This tree right here, sycamore tree. Always check the sycamore trees as well. I don't know what it is about them, but big morels like to grow around the sycamores. It's, it's a little early probably. Normally yellows that come up around them, but you always want to check those out. I got a spot in this particular wood that's got a grove of sycamores and in about, I'd say 10 to 12 days, I'll probably be able to go pick two or three pounds just around a, those sycamore trees alone. It's the only spot in this woods that really has a bunch of them. I guess this is what I feel like if I was a deer. mushroom honey I know those suckers eat them 
I found the tops eight off of them for deer and turkey. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that little walk through the woods. I didn't have that long to look around. Um, didn't hit any of my good patches. I think it's just a touch too early for those because those are normally pretty nice yellow patches. Um, but it was a success. Anytime that you can get out in the woods and look around, I consider that a success. Even if you don't find any mushrooms or just whatever you're out in the woods doing. I love ginseng hunting, mushroom hunting, deer hunting, all of it. So, um, we did find this, uh, what you saw, found that cool skull, not a big one, wish that hadn't been, the squirrels hadn't got to that, but they get to them pretty quick. Anyways, thanks for following along, keep an eye out, um, I should have a few more videos like this as the season gets, uh, going a little bit more, um. And I'll have another trip or two up here a little bit later on and we'll find some six to ten inch yellow ones. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun and there'll be some good patches. So if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe. Um, and again, until next time, tight lines.